What's going on my friends? I am Justin and welcome back to the channel. Here on Critter Hunter, I hope you have subscribed because I am coming out with nearly daily videos and I would love to see you there. My community is growing. Uh, I got a lot of you messaging me on Instagram and on here on YouTube saying what you want me to show you next. And so that being said, I think I got some awesome footage for you today. I filmed this last year while I was traveling around the Philippines and it is some of my favorite footage ever. I already have a small video of this, but I want to show the whole video and with more commentary and tell you what's going on because this is one of my favorite videos of all time. So thank you guys for joining and let's get into it. <laughs> Critter Hunter. So this isn't what I wanted to show you, but I believe this is a cockatoo leaf fish, and he's super hilarious. I always see these guys, it looks like they're drunk, just swaying in the wind, so I had to show you that before I show you the star of the show. So when I said earlier that this was some of my very favorite footage ever, what I really meant is one of my very favorite critter captures ever. This was my very first hairy frogfish and he was about the size of my pinky nail. So he was super tiny. I have no idea how my guides found him. I couldn't see any detail. I just set up my camera next to him on the tripod and with my macro wet lens on. So I knew it was filming but I didn't see any detail in my with my naked eye but it captures some pretty hilarious stuff like him catching up skeleton shrimp until i looked at the footage later i had no idea those skeleton shrimp were there or that he was eating them So in no way do I claim to be any sort of expert or marine biologist. I'm just a critter hunter that loves to document these awesome species that I believe the world needs to see and that you don't see every day on National Geographic or Animal Planet. That being said, here in Darwin and Dumaguete area, there are a lot of marine biologists around. And I think it's probably because one, there's a huge amount of underwater species here and two there's an actual marine biology university here and not only that but i actually have a friend that's a marine biologist that that specializes specifically on frogfish and of course he's here in Dowan because Dowan has the biggest concentration of frogs Whenever I make a video and I don't have enough information for you guys, I talk to various biologist friends and get more information. And that's kind of what I go off of. So in this next clip, you're gonna see the little baby frog actually hunting the skeleton shrimp. That's a skeleton shrimp right there if you look closely. And it, oh, he's gone. So yeah, this has to be pretty rare footage. None of the people I talk to around here have seen a baby frogfish hunting skeleton shrimp. And don't forget, I didn't know any of this was going on until now when I edited the video. So all I could see in the screen was enough to keep the little guy in the frame, but I had no idea that he was snatching up the little shrimp. So my marine biologist friend that I mentioned earlier, Daniel Geary, he says that during frogfish season, there's also a skeleton shrimp hatch or bloom or whatever you want to call it down the coast. And it's probably a major food source for all the frogs here, especially the baby frogs. The bigger frogfish probably can't grab those or probably don't even see them or don't bother. They eat the bigger stuff. But little babies like this size are probably perfect for eating skeleton shrimp. Uh, now you can see here he's testing out his little lure. He's probably, oh there's another bite of shrimp. 
Anyways, it looked like he was testing out his little lure. He's probably too young to ever have used it or anything. But I love how detailed this video is with the little tiny hairs, you know, where he gets his name, the hairy frogfish, and even those little spots on his body. It's pretty cool, as well as his little striped, funny looking eye. I just love these guys. It's my first frogfish, but now I'm obsessed and I'm always on the lookout to find more, whether big or small. Okay guys, so if you missed it, a little while back I did a collab with a videographer friend of mine where he actually showed me how to color grade this underwater footage. So if you guys missed that, you can watch it. I'll put the link below. If you're into underwater videography or color grading on Premiere Pro, then you might want to watch it. I hope you guys thought this little critter was as interesting as I do. Now I'm absolutely in love with Harry Frogfish, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Yeah. Subscribe!